welcome to today's episode of the Advent series. Today, we will tackle the Great Commission and our focus text will be Matthew 28 from 16 to 20. One thing that you'll know is that this text comes after Jesus has mightily resurrected on the third day where we see Mary Magdalene and Mary uh, rushing her in the morning uh, to see the tomb. And to their great surprise, they did not find Jesus, for he had resurrected, as he had said earlier, before his death. On their way back, that is Mary, uh, Magdalene and Mary, they met with Jesus, where now he sent them to go and tell the disciples to go to Galilee, where he will meet them. This is what the text says, uh, Matthew 28, 16 to 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. We see a picture of disciples who had gathered in Gariri as Jesus had directed them. And we see here that after his resurrection, Jesus came before them. And here is what he said to them. Verse 18, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. We see that Jesus, in his risen state, he now exercises uh, absolute authority on earth and heaven. And what follows after this is a command from verse 19, which says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. How were they to do it? How are they to go and make these disciples? They were to do this by teaching them his word, as we see verse 20. And why were they commanded to teach them the Great Commission? Why were they suppose, uh, how are they commanded to teach them uh, his command? It is because disciples of Jesus are only made through proclaiming the word of the Lord. As they do this Great Commission, they are not alone. As we see verse 20 puts. Friends, it's now clear to see that all believers are called into this great commission. Every one of us is called to go and make disciples. And Jesus will be with us as we do this. The big question is, will you hearken to the call? Will you rise and join him in this great commission? Thank you.